Welcome to a brief presentation by Neos Geo Solutions. The following is an overview of hyperspectral imaging and how Neos incorporates this into our multi-measurement approach to exploration. During the day, the sun's energy reaches the Earth and is both reflected and absorbed by the Earth's surface. When reflected, the sun's energy changes depending on the material the sun is reflecting off of on the Earth's surface. This reflected energy creates a unique fingerprint known as a spectral signature for each material. Shown here to the right are spectral signatures for calcite, clay, and vegetation. Increased numbers of bands or segments of the spectral signature result in increased accuracy in identifying specific materials. The NEOS hyperspectral sensor has hundreds of individual bands in each spectral signature. By way of example, this is in sharp contrast to the Landsat satellite's six bands, which are shown in blue on this graph. Using these spectral signatures is an important component of the NEOS multi-measurement technique. NEOS can identify natural resources by searching the Earth's surface for telltale spectral signatures, such as minerals, hydrocarbons, or mineral indicators of hydrocarbons. There are countless uses for hyperspectral imaging. Some of these include hydrocarbon and mining exploration, environmental baselines, geothermal exploration, agriculture, forestry, and land use classification. Shown here is an example of hyperspectral imaging in action. Flying over an area with our hyperspectral sensors, NEOS can detect oil seeps on the Earth's surface. These seeps are shown as yellow on the image to the right. Here are two images of the same area but in different portions of the spectrum, visible and near-infrared on the left, thermal-infrared on the right. Oil wells are easily identified on the left, while some of the surface features become more prominent in the thermal-infrared, shown on the right. Mineral exploration is another important use of hyperspectral imagery. Rather than looking for something such as gold on the Earth's surface, NEOS can detect the mineral indicators that are commonly associated with gold. Shown here is the clay kaolinite. Searching for natural gas can also be greatly improved by using hyperspectral imagery. Using thermal spectral data, fractures can be identified. These fractures can help to identify the presence of natural gas. Environmental baselines can also be developed using hyperspectral data. One example is creating detailed maps of vegetation and waterway sediment loads. Another example of how hyperspectral technology can be used is a program NEOS conducted over nearly 30,000 square kilometers of the Gulf Coast in the wake of the Macondo oil spill. We took a series of time-lapse measurements both before oil had affected the coastline and then again 60 to 90 days afterwards. Our scientists, supported by a team from Louisiana State University that was deployed on the ground, compared the hyperspectral signatures of vegetation to detect plants that were unaffected, shown in green, and vegetation that was under stress, shown in red. We have shared our results with the parties affected by the spill along with government and regulatory agencies and universities. Our intent is for all to benefit from our time-lapse program, which we call Operation Gulf Scan. To summarize, hyperspectral imaging goes above and beyond what we can see with the naked eye. NEO's hyperspectral systems were designed with high levels of detection power for hydrocarbon and minerals exploration. Hyperspectral detection has several standalone applications, which include environmental baselining, topographic mapping, and others. But its real power gets unleashed when we feed hyperspectral insights into our multi-measurement interpretation system. This allows us to extrapolate faults and fractures from surface to subsurface 
and helps in identifying direct and indirect indicators of hydrocarbon and minerals. Thanks so much for listening.